All right, not having any game caviar studios on some Call of Duty Ghosts. Trying to find a match real quick. Let's see here. Uh, let me go through and talk to you about these game modes. First of all, Team Deathmatch is Team Deathmatch. That's it's still the same. Cranked is cool, but uh, I've, it's been a couple matches that I've been in that didn't have a full lobby. And with these maps being as big as the surface of the moon there is uh, a lot of times I just run out of time and I don't I couldn't find anybody else to kill so cranked is good when you have a full lobby and the perfect map okay I think they should tweak that a little bit to where they only have the smaller maps or uh, for cranked uh, let's see blitz each team has an objective zone in their base blitz is it blitz is pretty cool please blitz is like a, a hard point kind of uh it's similar it reminds me of hardpoint and black ops 2 uh, except uh what is it you don't get the um do you get double xp if you hold the i, I don't remember i know i know it's similar to blit i mean uh hardpoint but i don't remember exactly uh everything that goes into it i remember it was very fast paced though so if you're looking for a fast paced gameplay uh cranked with a perfect lobby and blitz uh, for just a general chaos type situation uh, search and rescue I haven't played but I seen footage on it and um, you know it's, it's 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 like search and destroy but they tweaked it a little bit uh, like it says defend and destroy the objective grab dog tags to respawn allies and prevent enemy respawn so there you have it infected is infected now uh, you know you've seen effect infected it's modern warfare 3 had it and it's pretty fun uh so yeah have I, I haven't played it in here but infected is infected kill confirmed you know all about kill confirmed and domination hunted players start with a limit with limited equipment take control of drop zones to get better equipment i played a uh, match of hunted last night and it is very fun basically you start off with a pistol and you have limited ammo and i think they give you the uh, the throwing knife and they drop ammo crates at different positions and you you and your team just rush over to the ammo crate and you get a random gun and then you just go to work pretty cool free for all is cool i still want them to add old school free for all that's something that they just have abandoned since call of duty 4 and it's idiotic because you can have free for all and then you can have old school free for all there's nothing that says that you can't unless the guys who left infinity ward own the rights to old school free for all uh team tactical we all know what team tactical is and um ghost mosh pit is for people who pre-order call of duty ghost a mosh pit featuring free fall i haven't played on free fall i did play ghost mosh pit last night and it, it, it's you know it's okay it's just a, a melody of game uh modes but i'm gonna get into some domination here let me talk about this game a little bit more in depth right now okay and let me say straight up they do have a mute everybody option right but the problem with it is uh, it's not I haven't found out how to do it before the match so uh, in black ops 2 you just hit square or whatever and it's like you know you can mute everybody or mute everybody but your friends or your your lobby or whatever that's cool uh, that's just a minor a minor problem but it's just something that I noticed uh, let's see here I got the vector uh, mute players mute all it's simple enough you know so instead of doing it in a lobby you can do it when um you know this 15 minute waiting period before the match starts I don't know why it's like that I guess they wait for everybody to connect whatever uh, another big thing that I've noticed in this game remember in my first video I said that Call of Duty is not something it's not a game that's known for its graphics alright we, we pretty much get it that when you play Call of Duty you're not like playing crisis or something it's not gonna blow you away graphically but on a PlayStation 3 version this game looks horrible and I don't like it looks more like Modern Warfare 2 to me it doesn't even look like modern warfare 3 it seems like they've regressed in the in the graphics department which is which is weird uh considering that this is the newest game but um i'm gonna die okay i thought i was gonna die everybody just piled in right there uh but yeah um god 
damn it. Oh boy. Sniper. Uh, I do like this one perk though that gives you a random, I think it's called like gambler or something, but what it does is it basically gives you a random perk when you start the, um, start the, your life. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Like right now I have hardline, but, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, this game, it looks bad to me. And I know that, you know, it's PS3. Uh, when I download the PS4 version, because uh, I did the upgrade, I know it's going to look better, you know, but again, I, I don't expect it to blow my mind away. I just wish that they had spent more time looking into, or not looking into, but upgrading the graphics just a little bit more. Like, it doesn't have to be earth shattering, but it, it just seems bland. It seems bland. Like, you ever had a, a, a bland steak or something like that? That's, that's what this reminds me of. This reminds me of a steak that has not been seasoned, and so therefore is bland. Uh, the kill streaks that I have, you know, I have the Satcom and the the Guard Dog and the Maniac. I only got the Maniac like once, and then I got killed, and one of my teammates took it. So, uh, from what I from what I've seen, the Maniac is pretty awesome. You just run around with a suit and like two knives, and you chop up anything. Pretty awesome.